Hello everyone, Jane Vellante, brand ambassador for Pain Pixie. I have this Bombay chest that I got um, that I'm really excited about because I got it for a really good price. Okay, so I have the French macaron and the Bonbini cocktail, and I am just blending this. Now listen, I'm gonna confess here. I am not using a Paint Pixie brush to do this. I'm using a messy, crummy, $1.29 chip brush. Why am I doing that? Because I know that this is going to deliver me the look that I want. And sometimes it's imperative. When you're an artist and you know your tools, it's imperative to use the right tools. Now, I'm going to be using all kinds of Paint Pixie brushes on this, but for this initial step, for this blending of the Bonbini and the French macaron, I have to use this. I just do, and you'll see why. So I have one coat of the Undercover Primer in Coconut on this already, and I am going to be switching back and forth between the Bonbini and the French Macaron. Right now I've got French Macaron. Right now, I am just focusing on kind of getting this, just more of a base coat on here, and then I'm gonna really, really continue to blend. So I'm slapping it on. You can see I'm really kind of reckless abandoned right now. I just wanna get the paint on. I'm gonna grab some Bombini. Just kind of begin to put this on. So my blending here and the reason I'm using this chip brush is I can get a really, really choppy blend, but it's almost like, um, it's almost drippy. You can make an almost drippy blend with these mess up, messed up bristles. You just need to manipulate it and you can see the marks that this makes. Right, but I have been using my chip brush as a tool for so many years, I know how to manipulate it and I know how to get the look I want. So that's why it's really, really imperative to use the right tool. I love my Paint Pixie brushes. I love them. I'm, one, I'm not gonna mess mine up like this. This $1.29 chip brush, I really can just beat. Um, I really like it so far. <laughs> I am in my garage today since I closed my shop. I don't have a really, really big space to do furniture. So I'm in my garage, so you might even hear some cars and trucks going uh, in the background. <laughs> we live on a busy road, so sorry about that. Not exactly perfect for filming, but hey. It's going to work, right? So what's really fun for me is I really never know how I'm going to finish a piece. You know, unless it's just a piece I'm making for my booth where I want it to sell quick, so I'm just set, I'm painting one neutral color and calling it a day, right? But on a, a more artful piece like this, I generally am just winging it. So for this, I just pick the colors. I had a couple, you know, I've had a couple ideas in mind, but I never hold myself to it because I'm so visual. I like to see how the piece, um, kind of grows, right? It, it, it emerges. <laughs> it, um, 
It wants to tell a story. And so I just go with it. Um, and it's very satisfying. These colors together are so beautiful.
Okay, so for right now, I'm gonna let this dry. It's um, looking kind of cool. I'm loving the blending, and um, I'm gonna come back after it's dry, and then I'm gonna make some decisions.